What's going on everybody? I go by Rifle and thanks for checking out this Fallout 4 video. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys where to get the unique melee weapon called Butcher's Hook. But don't let that awesome name fool you all. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. This isn't the best melee weapon. But hey, if you like collecting unique weapons like I do, well then you might actually find this video to be somewhat enjoyable if you don't actually know where the Butcher's Hook is located at yet. First off, you're going to have to make sure you have the Far Harbor DLC, I mean, obviously. And once you're in the Far Harbor area, you want to head over to Horizon Flight 1207. And then once you're here, head up to Erickson's ugly ass. I'm just kidding. Erickson's awesome. Anywho, just barter with him, and you'll notice that he's actually selling the Butcher's Hook, and it doesn't cost that much. And that's me saying that. You know, I'm a broke biscuit right now in this game, so, hey, <laughs> that's me saying that this doesn't cost much. So if it costs as much to you... I don't know what the heck you're doing in Fallout 4. I am literally broke as can be right now. And I don't play on the PC because, you know, I just enjoy playing on the console. Because if I was playing on my PC accounts, you know, I would just easily type in some bottle caps for me and I'd be like, yeah, I'm rich again. And trust me, I have a tendency to do that all the time. Just enter in cheats whenever I'm about to die or whenever I see something that I can afford. Yeah, you get the point. I know, I know, PC is the master race. Leave me alone. I like playing on the PC, but I also like playing on the console. I feel like I get a better hands-on experience with the game. I don't know why. I guess just because I can't type in console commands. Don't hate on my opinion. Come on, guys. Leave me alone, okay? I grew up playing on the console, so I like playing on the console, okay? Hey, you enough about that jibber-jabber. As you guys can see, the Butcher's Hook refills your action points on a critical hit. Which is pretty nice because, you know, as you guys can see, the speed is medium with this melee weapon. So you have a better chance of hitting a critical hit and refilling your action points. But overall, I don't actually recommend using this weapon. But uh, once again, if you like collecting unique weapons, then yeah, this is where you get the Butcher's Hook at. As you guys can see though, I'm showing you guys some gameplay of me sucking some major butthole with the Butcher's Hook. But also, as you guys can see, each swing, you gotta be pretty daggone close to the enemy to be able to hit them. It's not like you have a far distance with this hook, which obviously, you know, you're holding it in your hand. You got about... As much length as the Pikmin's Blade, which is my favorite melee weapon. Besides the new one that's actually in Far Harbor, Adam's Judgments. I really enjoy using that awesome sledgehammer. But I guess as I wrapping up this quick review of the Butcher's Hook, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, guess what? What does normally every YouTuber uh, remind you to do at the end of their videos? Yes, that's right. I'm going to be a like horror and remind you guys to leave a like if you found this video enjoyable. I understand if you don't and just instead just say I need to shut my dirty whore mouth or just simply just close out of this video like, ah, eh, the video is cool, but nah, dude, I ain't gonna leave no support. What the heck? I gotta sign in and all that mumbo jumbo where I'm on my console right now. I can't even leave you support. I'm just watching your video just because I wanted to see what this butcher's hook's all about. So yeah, sorry dude, but I'm not leaving no support. That's cool. I don't really care. It's just a friendly reminder. But this has been a video by your rifle, and if you have a Twitter, feel free to check out mine. I'll leave a link to my Twitter in the description if you want to. And well, thanks for watching everyone, and bearing with me on my horrible commentating skills. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace out, everybody.